In the previous video, I showed you how to communicate an open contact with a crown to your lab by scraping the model, right? That method is a little bit arbitrary, I agree, but it's quick and it's fast and it gets the job done. What if you wanted to be a little bit more accurate? Well, here's another technique which I'm going to teach you. So let's imagine that this is the patient's mouth and we have this much of an open contact, probably about half a millimeter on the distal. How do we inform the lab about this open contact? Well, I already showed you in the previous video, you could scrape the model or the other option is to use some flowable composite, add it over there and then seat it back in the patient's mouth. Don't do any kind of sculpting like that. So now there's flowable composite right there in the open contact area. And while it's seated over there, you can cure this. And once it's done curing, you can take that out. So now once you take this crown out, there's a little bit of flowable composite which is stuck to it. And this is what you're going to send to the lab. Inform the lab that you've added flowable composite to show them how much of an open contact there is. And then they can use that information to add the ceramic to your crown and give you a closed contact. Two ways in how you can communicate an open contact to the lab. I hope I've confused you enough. This is the Dental Review Guy signing off with a smile.